thank you, Bing. Uh, I don't know if that's right. If I'm the actual boss, I think it's you. So I would like to say, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, and elephants. <laughs> we are pleased to have you all here today. I can tell you this all started when we have a national committee meeting of the European committees in Belgrade some uh, months ago. And uh, Susanna and I, Susanna from IUCN, Susanna Söder from and I talked about this COP15 and a lot of uh, IUCN members would be here. And she said, would it be uh, of any interest for the Danish uh, National Committee to host a, uh, a reception for those that uh, participate in the... Uh... Guys, a bit of respect, can you keep quiet please? That was very helpful. <laughs> I was actually thinking about asking Ben to bring the male elephant, the bull here. Uh, but uh, we were talking about whether we should uh, be able to host a reception like that. And uh, we had a, a, a meeting in the National Committee and we asked our, one of our colleagues, the Copenhagen Zoo. And uh, as you can see and you can experience later on, they are really experts in taking care of uh, you and guests to this zoo. So thank you very much to our friends from the uh, zoo. <laughs> we know that we are all gathered here because of the COP15. And I can say on behalf of the whole National Committee of Denmark that we sincere hope that we will have a result uh, that will make the way forward for a more sustainable world. But could I say at the same time that in this country, which for many, many years have been a very good country when it comes to environmental policy, we have had a lack for some years uh, of environmental policy and uh, su sustainable development. And I must say that the climate topic and the fact that Denmark <laughs> is the host of this COP15 has really opened doors again, especially for the climate. But for me, it is for some reasons nonsense, because climate is definitely a, a part of the whole environment. And I definitely find that this climate summit in Copenhagen is a door opener for what we are working for, not only for the climate, but for sustainability, for biodiversity, for the uh, endemic uh, species, etc., etc. So I definitely hope that we can all keep on working for not only a better climate, for a better world. And uh, saying that, it is my privilege to invite the uh, president of the IUCN, Mr. Asher, to enter the speaking chair. Thank you very much.